Rachel. I'm sorry. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody. To destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh... That was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Uh... Well... Thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts.
Aw, oh, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. Please shut off your phone. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Let's see, ten across six letters, blue. How the hell am I supposed to- I have to admit, I love being called an artist. Supposed to figure that out. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited to. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping... These airline seats get smaller, so I won't have to fly at all anymore. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max... You're not just screwing around with time. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Wowzer, Max. You did it. Somehow. I went from the door. I need to drop some serious cash in there. The Zeitgeist Gallery does have a cool history in Frisco. Uh, 
I mean, San Francisco. I wish I had time to go see those murals here. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say, artists instead. Look at this print. The depth of field, the colors. Look at the bulk of shape. This was definitely shot with a medium format camera using a Leica 35 millimeter lens. You can definitely find out those details. The story of a photo. It's great to read all these comments. Even the mean ones. If you know how to look at all the details of a picture. Oh, this is so interesting. That one is kind of silly. I would love to have this on a shelf. Someday. I like. Oh, but imagine how much time it takes to make one sculpture. Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. Champagne makes me think of me and Chloe getting busted with that wine. I know it's kind of simple, but... I... Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects to focus. Oh, very smart. Like, I do not understand art. Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. I guess everybody is a photographer now. That is different. Loving the retro vibe. I always get... Hey, I love your shot. I just wanted to say congratulations, and I hope you get a lot more attention. This makes me feel so sad. Like I was back in high school. Usually, these kind of contests, they, they put me to sleep, but I like how this show is about specific actions, you know, not just abstractions. The zeitgeist is doing some unique stuff this year. God, you must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis, and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. Don't say anything to Principal Wells... yet.